Hey guys, it's Doug Giles again, back with Billiards of New Orleans. Uh, today we are out here with Dr. Viet Vu um, here in New Orleans, and we are getting ready to install a Brunswick Gold Crown 3. Now, this is a Gold Crown that you bought from a pool hall, right? That is correct. Uh, pool hall locally here in Metairie. Okay, and um, if you don't mind me asking, how much did you pay for the pool table? Uh, 1500 for the table itself. Okay, and what size? It's a 9-foot table. Okay, so we got a nine foot Brunswick gold crown that you paid fifteen hundred for, and I actually went over the table. You know, as we were disassembling the table and bringing it out of the pool hall, it's in it's in really it was in really good condition. It hadn't been recovered a whole bunch of times to the point where the rails you know couldn't be used or anything. Um, I actually think that fifteen hundred was a was a really good price. Now you actually took it a step further and you went in and and refinished everything, right? Yeah, I uh, did everything as far as uh, getting the metal pieces um, powder coated and redone, mm -hmm. and then also uh, as far as getting the the old uh, finish um, stripped off completely, sanded it down, and then restained it and, and refinished it. Okay, uh, and and how difficult would you say it was on say a scale of one to ten? How difficult? Um, difficult wise, I would say probably seven ish overall. Um, really, the biggest part is is the time that it takes to to complete all these processes. All these steps. Yeah. Right. Now uh, you went back with all Mohawk finishes, and and look for any of you guys out there. I'm going to leave links down below for all of the uh, Mohawk products that mm -hmm. you actually used for yours, because you you went off of my suggestions for for all of your products as well, right? Correct. Yeah, order those uh, off of Amazon. They were all available, so um, you know, took a little bit for time for those to come in. But um, once they came in, yeah, we got to do them. Okay, and like I said, I'm gonna leave the links down below. Now, how much were you into? How much did you actually put into the the other products? So you got the powder coating was another two fifty. Yeah. The table itself was fifteen hundred. How much for the other products? The other products themselves were about one fifty to two hundred total for everything. Yeah. So. Okay. So I, I would actually, I would probably, if it were me, I might would, uh, and we actually went over this and we took a look at the parts already. Mm -hmm. If it were me, I would probably bump up, you know, maybe get one additional yeah. uh, quart of lacquer. Yeah, yeah. certainly uh, one of the issues was running out of the, you know, sealant and lacquer, at, you know, uh, that I would have liked to put a few more coats on. So. Right, and, and I was actually telling Dr. Vu earlier that, you know, it, it, when I first started doing restoration work, I would have been just overwhelmed with joy with the results that you got. You know, I would have I would have been overwhelmed with joy to get those same kind of results. Um, so, you know, I think for for a beginner, for a first try, for a novice, I think you did an excellent job on it. I think the table is really going to come out great. Thank you very much. Uh, and obviously, you know, I followed your instructions to a T, so uh, that helped out a lot. Okay. Now, so you're you're into the entire table for under two grand yeah. um, for a nine foot Brunswick Gold Crown three, which I would say is is really it's going to be on par with the Gold Crown five uh, five or six. I don't remember which one they they have out right now, but the 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 Gold Crown five I know was selling for, in the neighborhood of about ten thousand dollars. That's a lot of money to put out yeah. for a table. Yeah. So. Um, you know, to, to, to buy a Gold Crown 2 or a 3 and restore it yourself, you're really, you're going to save a lot of money. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I looked at, I priced out, you know, ones that were, you know, privately owned and, you know, pretty much new condition. And, yeah, they were prohibitively expensive. So. <laughs> yeah. Um, all right. So, would you say that there was any one aspect of the job more than another that was more difficult? Yeah, uh, as far as, you know, getting everything to match, color matching, um, getting, you know, the sanding, all that level, and, and trying to get that across the different pieces of, of, of the table itself, that was probably the hardest part. Um, and then, you know, once you got this the stain and everything on that, trying to get it to, to totally match up as much as possible, that was the hardest part, you know? Yeah. Yeah, and, and that has always been my experience when I had my restoration shop. Like I said, the stripping and, and 
the stripping and sanding and everything and filling in the dents and dings. Mm -hmm. And I, I do have another series that I'm doing here on YouTube. I've already got part one of how to refinish your pool table. Parts two and three are coming up. Um, but, um, you know, that is the, the, the filling the dents and everything. Um, that's actually pretty easy stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, that, that stuff's... Uh, pretty self-explanatory, easy to do, but as far as the other parts, uh, it's a lot more careful. Uh, certainly, much more experience in it would, would have helped. <laughs> right, and that's where the 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 guy that I had actually doing all the, all of my finish work for me, he was excellent, excellent at color matching, excellent at uh, at blending colors together to to make sure that every single part looked identical at least had the same color right, tonal yeah. values and everything right. that that the surrounding parts did um and that's where the real skill comes in yeah yeah certainly um and i think that would have to come with just you know at, oh. time and repetition so exactly yeah exactly so without further ado we're gonna go ahead we're gonna get started with doing the install we're gonna switch over to camera b and we're gonna go ahead and do the install um and you guys can watch along with us as we do the install on this table. And when we get back, we're going to talk about it a little bit more. We can go over the specifics of the table. I don't know if you can see it. This is it right down here. So, can't wait. All right. We'll be back in just a bit.
All right, so there we are. We're all done with the pool table, the Gold Crown 3. Um, what do you think? How do you like it? it? It looks really good. I'm really um, glad the way um, you know I was able to put in the work to make it look like uh, how it does now. It looks like a totally different pool table than uh, what I came when it came with. Yeah, and and I'm, you know, it really it doesn't surprise me in the least that the pool table came out this well. It this is pretty typical of of the kind of results that you can get from old bar tables, you know, old gold crowns, gold crown ones, twos, threes, eh, sometimes fours, uh, someone you can find a four, but ones, twos, and threes specifically, they're out there, there's good deals to be had on them, and they can come out looking great. Uh, anything you want to talk about with this, with, with your table? Um, just, you know, as Doug said, you know, if you're willing to put the work in, uh, that's really what it comes down to, uh, you know, how much time you decide to dedicate to this, um, and you can get great results. So, um, if you guys are thinking about doing it, um, definitely worth the learning experience by itself, um, and then um, you get to enjoy, uh, you know, the fruit of your labor. So, um, I'm really glad that uh, I was able to do this. Yeah. Well, it's been our pleasure to do the table for you. Appreciate that. Thank my you. My pleasure, and we'll catch you guys on the next video.